Namtanje, we are going to focus on vermiculture, which is the production of amaworms. Namtanje, this cool mangai, we see amaworms so multiply and they are demanding so this is what they are not to compost. Then tomorrow we'll move to compost and also other things as well. Let us just uh, go to the science part of it and explain the biology of worms. So we we'll look at the classification of earthworms, types of earthworms, and our main breeding species. It's important for me to emphasize again, Uguti, it's not just any worm, but we have a specific type of species that we farm. Uh, we will understand that amaworms maningi, just like in Como, uh, if Sazi, we, we have round about, in, in fact, each and every alphabet that you have, Kunen Tlobo in Como, that is attached to that alphabet. But worms are more exciting than that. Uh, we have about 1,800 known species of worms. So, Mokuba in Kloza Amaworms, the A, Konem Tlaben, Ezazi, Wayo, Tlabe Konabana, right, Discovery. We have about 1,800 known species. It's very much important to understand that. Reason being, um, in fact, this is the reason why for everybody that we train, we ask them what time worms about when they want to start farming. Because in and then we don't get the same results. So it's very much important that you understand the species of Dilangas. Even the Motoma worms, you happen to buy them somewhere, maybe one day, but you understand. Just like chickens, as perform of farming it, there is a reason why the performance is not the same. So you want to make sure you get the right species so that it can actually give you exactly what you want. So you can group worms into many classes, but generally you can group them according to size, you can group them according to shape, pigmentation, guti anjani, umbala wao, kona bampufu, kona abatak, indela, up behavior ngayo as well, kona ubuzi luta washon in pants, akona rashon ayo pants. They just go down, you farm them, namtlandi, tomorrow you don't find them anywhere, they're gone. So that's why you need to understand your species again. The species that we, we farm, uh, fortunately enough, it does not ex, uh, escape. It's a challenge. More creatively conditioned, it's a challenge. It's a relax. So you need to understand that as well. Uh, if you have to take worms when you're down, and then you get worms, like the eopets who are carrying a pan, and there is no concrete, or there is no plastic, or anything that you can as a, as a layer, you won't find them if go as any in terms of worms that you will discuss. So you will buy your worms and then tomorrow they're not there. And believe you me, worms, they pack their bags and they go. <laughs> yes. And then also with the source of food, you could add that number worms are what in the final. Massa supplies in Zobon, it composes the more you do about it. It's not soil, it's actually composed, it looks like soil. So I want my baby to be Imagine in Tabati, we look at Tabati teas and Noma, we tell them what, no, it's not soil. However, there are some worms about in Tabati, but not as their primary feed. Yes. And then you get also reproductive potential. I was multiplying The nice thing about the species again that we farm, it is good at all those things. It is the highest reproductive rate. It is beautiful also. You just look at it and it's like, wow. It's, it's beautiful. And also, I think I look at it, if we create an environment, I think it's beautiful. If you want to go to the village, and 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 you want to go to the village, every time, if the conditions are right there. It's, it's like, I'm a, I'm a, they are disciplined. They, they police themselves. How do you use a valet and do all of that? Like human beings. <laughs> yes. And then a, a very exciting fact uh, which is the largest or the longest and the largest worm uh, ever found in South Africa. It was seven meters long. Yeah, yeah. So I understand the seven meters. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how long it was. It can really grow. It's very exciting. 
back in 1967, the respect then. I call an amanye at holy where even overseas that are bigger, even in size. We bamb in Jimmy Bambing in the Wazoo to one Jimmy Bonnie is a shiny shape, Jim Pellet. We want to know it's not it's not a snake, it's a worm. So it's it's a very exciting um, creature. There are three types of earthworms, basically. To classify it and just simplify, there are three types of earthworms. You have those swabies and ama anesic earthworms. Ama anesic earthworms, these are burrowing worms. Ne? They burrow down. Now they come to the surface, they drink food, and then they go down again. Uh, the following day, they only come at night. They take food. From the surface, they burrow down. Our challenge, our tool. Yes. Lawa asekayo, it's not this. Lawa asekayo, wawo oti njiga ngani wato la wana lawo. This, they, <laughs> yeah. Overseas, they farm a lot of this, but my own valley lagi, obviously. Njoba ni boni le lea vito lean. But la pana ba fama lawo so fama, but a kona manyama vito that you will see. A good example of it, it's a Canadian night crawler. A Canadian night crawler, call an African night crawler as well. Jobani is on it's a night crawler. You won't see it. I mean, it just it stays down. It stays at the bottom of our of our earth. Yes. And then you have ama worms, which we call ama ama endochiku earthworms. These ones, I see a kuskalinga lawa anesik lawa after la le pant lawa after la ascend. Now they burrow down, but not as deep as lawa asekalin. But now but they also come to the top, they drink food at least bonabashala just within Ilokuzan Umslab. They don't go as as, as deep. And Umabu Abuga, even their colour, it's not it's not the same. Konangati Apashile, I'm slope, konangati a teguba dark and pale. Those abola shala le pants are like they're really dark, dark as in dark. And then we have Ama Epichic Ethwems. This one they live on the surface. These are our lovers, this is what we love, basically. As far as we surface, most of the time, it's usually just 10 centimeters from your, your top soil. We surface here on a puzzle. So, we love, 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 it was dead. And that's in Boni Ruti, in Garanan. But we love, we love, we love, we love. If it was Canadian night scroll, night crawler, Ubuzo Mele, Ufagi Sandra is in like really, really deep down because you wouldn't find it. It's in La Pezul. We understand. So, yes. Now let us look at our main breeding species. If we are under our epigeic earthworms, just 10 centimeters of your. My body mover, ear pants, ear pants, not with a e. But there is a sign that there is something wrong on your, on your top layer. It's either there is maybe insufficient food. Um, some of conditions are not really ideal. Remember, we said to good as a worm farmer, your focus is creating and also maintaining conditions that are ideal for your worms to grow and also to multiply. So, if the conditions are not good for them, could less space as a mover acting as any space is just just like you basically. You don't like your work, you move to the next one. You don't like your business, you start another business. It's simple as that. So, they also prefer to live. We, we organic menu or we compost. Masiti organic menu, it can be anything uh, that is organic. Okay, now, masculine manga lo organic is kulu manga wala. Agwala lo organic lo si kutaba na shamo yote mguze wulwet. Anything uh, organic into something that can move from one state to another. Ia wazu kusuga from being fresh imole, basically. So that's organic. So, ama kabu ama eshe slashe ni then they decompose. There is also organic material. Fresh food, to my basic color decay, there is organic material. Umkuba, weda, we nkomo, noma, we zimvu, noma, we, wama hashi, noma wani, there is also organic compost or we menyo. Now, so this is to understand that, and jalma nkulma nge uwe mkompost, the final product, gizoti uwe mkompost. Ma nkulma nge kompost, nkulma nge menyo. Like, umkuba, we, when come number one, so I will always emphasize among a being a kuluma, but we compost. And also, Ika meswabiza now the worms that we farm, Amar red wrigglers. They are red in color and also they wriggle. 
hence the name red reclass basically so in fact lela kama fire lectile in nature or they just they they really they love wriggling so the minute you abona engathi ase yazela noma ase yanqena it should tell you what there is a, a problem as well um this the reason why we found this worm basically this specific species of worm it can process large amounts of organic matter eh lama worms they eat their body weight every day so if mean our static cages am i okay whatever uh, <laughs> if mean our static cages if i was a worm i would eat static cages every day that's how it is you as a human being you can't do that you can even eat half even a quarter of your weight sometime but lama worms they can they eat half i mean they are their body weight every day ideally however it's been observed to what most of the time they will eat at least half of of ilocusan of their body weight so this simply means if you know 10 kg is our worms our worms are coming up or they are 10 kg from us you need on ideal conditions you need 10 kg of manure every day Oh, must also be the same observations at least half of that every day. However, ge, eh ile part maso ngisha abantu bayathuka. I know it doesn't mean so but 10 kg is every day we will understand on the the technicalities of it. Yes. And also it can adapt. This is the second reason why we found this specific type of worm. It can adapt to almost any condition. No munga isa pesheya uyibuyisa uyise Nigeria uyibuyisa uyise South Africa no migopi. They can just survive. It's is strong in gun so this is our gun we family am aware basically no munga isal no matoki abanda no matiwa ikwinile nje it's just like that and it's very hard for it to die also as well this is very much important for me to highlight am aware very important they always choose self management and self sufficiency always like our cage they don't even compromise they would tell you if the situation is not right on this side they move by a lago right corner if your entire worm bed go wrong everything is just wrong they pack their bags and then they go yeah. and you won't see them going because our turn the light so i have to go pay so if you don't do scouting of your worm bed you ngazi the worm bed yakho it's on ideal condition or it right eh uzohlala ndihlamba uhlala inyanga uthi yeah mathi pla <laughs> so you need to do scouting now and then however you have to go and check them but well as a farmer or as a business person as a commercial farmer whether you're small scale or large scale it doesn't matter everybody needs to be a good manager it's very much important if you manage your pet right they won't have to leave it's not as complicated it is simple in kukuzako ipakele ukudla unikeza manzi the temperature is good the vaccines are good they fine they grow it's a matter of applying the what you've been taught the principle and then azoba right ama worms the same thing ningathi so ukuthi azobale ukuthi ingeke ufama izinto ibale yayo futhi ngcono nenkoko ngiyathi kuyivalela no it ngeze vele nje zibaleke so now this means ukuthi the multiplication of your worms and also their growth it is directly proportional to the environment you are affected with if the environment is bad your worms will come out bad as well yes so your environment is everything as a worm farmer you focusing on your environment you don't focus on worms worms they do everything natural you provide them a good environment for them to live everything just goes so singa to nje um many things ige as it has oil and point self sufficient and self management if the food is not there um uh, i always make this joke with worms badlula adlula thina singabantu um tena we do whatever regardless of the of the situation ama worms are testant abuk if ukudla akukho enough they won't reproduce because they are thinking about the next generation which is ozlan basically if the conditions are right are not right they won't reproduce they won't die like instantly but they won't reproduce as of a life challenge again if the space is not enough for them to reproduce they won't reproduce again so 
So, e <laughs> very efficient creatures, like they are that efficient. Even though sometimes Singawenza are my observations, Nazi, since we farm them. However, Kona Ogunya Nazi understand. As much as I can stand here and share a uh, material that we have developed from our experiences and observations, but Abandabazok Fundesa Gashi, Apatama worms are the worms. They will tell you what's going on in your worm pet or in your worm farm. If it's Lama worms, it's all about observation. You need to go there and observe. It's okay. Mangan Zaranja, as you are born, they're getting excited and they are multiplying. Their size is big. Mangan Zaranja, and what's a clean size, and then you duplicate that. So it's all about observation. When people come, most of the time they have the mentality of what's it? Yeah, and so farmer worms, and then I go on a holiday for a month. You can't do that. You can't. You can't do that. As much as Ama worms, our demand in Gago, okay, management, as compared to other farming uh, industries or, or sectors, but now it's a business, you need to take care of them. So, yeah, growing space, it must be enough. Uh, your conditions inside Melabe Shop, Ugulda, Kumele Gube Corner as well. Otherwise, you will starve them. Another thing about them, I'm not sure you can size why you can't. So, I'll fix this. They just shrink and they just shrink, depending on the conditions. Magba and most of the time you'll find them is shrinkile, but they matter. Like umzimba we are more flexible than China matamb, so it can. Yeah, we are excuse umzimba we are not able to move. No, we are not peace. We are not able to cool pal. My excited most of the time you'll find them. It take over short, but it cool pal. Yes. Me lambile ege ay ay olinga na nam. So. <laughs> yes. Um, also, ilela kama lena ngfunu ilumuli mi. Ama worms way to the uh, hermaphrodite. Gushuguti they have both female and male part. Iwe meyot. However, it cannot fertilize itself. Itinga lenye iwem. So if two worms, each worm in a in a both female and male part. Basically, in simple language, they both get pregnant. Which is an advantage because uh, there is fast multiplication. You know. So, reproduce, and then they get pregnant, and then they can... Um, two worms are required to fertilize a cocoon. It's very much important to highlight. Ama worms, they, they are not like us. Ne? Ama worms are our keeper makand, a keeper ma cocoons. I cocoon in a makanda parat. So understand the meslo. Our keeper makand, ama worms are keeper ama cocoons. A cocoon, it's like a container of many eggs inside. Yeah. I cocoon ayo toa, I was ustala makanda up to 15 eggs. Yes. Of which la ma ma wot inje ikan impele ikukun impele pila ushuzo hech from one worm zo hech ama worms zo fifteen so maxi ana ma worms zo two na ma worms zo thirty ama asha plus na la wa vele gat eslang ense u thirty two that's if ikan dalak ikukun pila impele then so keep a fifteen but also the time chalugu bala go seven um, and also it takes about fifteen days to excrete a cocoon from the day eslang ana. Um, and then the cocoon itself, it takes about 15 days to hatch. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, for a worm would he keep a cocoon for 15 days? Must put me at that cocoon for it would he hatch a la makanda parati because it's another 15 days. So, that process is 30 days, basically. Because it's all about reproduction is 30 days. But, however, again, the full cycle to maturity is, is, is approximately 60 days. Now, for it, it keep it dead after 15 days. Dead cocoon for it to hatch after 15 days. So, no worm, man. For that worm, it was a peel, it was a richer immaturity. The entire process takes 60 days, basically. This is why we say, gay, ama worms, they double their population in two months, in two months' time. Their population doubles in two months' time. More than 20 cages of ama worms now. After two months, Zobuno 40. After two months, Zobuno 8. After two months, Zobuno 160. That's how they double. We have also observed 
that they triple as well. Uh, if we are part they do triple. We, according to the book, the book says they double to be safe. And also, remember now as a business person, when you do your budgeting, you make sure to total is number one so that more when they go from that, at least you're still on the safer side. So yes, however, when they are establish or are reproduced at all, depending on the pharma ganjan. Yes. Now, if we may one, we lay a cocoon each and every week. So maybe when you see cool, they have matured and ready for mating. And then it will produce a cocoon every week. Now, this means every week, each worm has a potential of giving you a cocoon. Lay a cocoon A1, possibly. And I'm of 15 parrots. I'm a grand, I'm of 15 parrots. So, my two was in a sinning young and a pale. You were may hoping as niggers are my cocoons are four. But you could only one as niggers are my grand of 15. That 15 times four. That's how fast they, they, they multiply. That's how fast they multiply. Yes. Yeah. Look at the cars are local. The increase in population is between 60 to 99 times in 12 weeks. So, with 12 weeks' time, this less statement, Sisha Uguti, more than 10 cages or more worms, manage. In 12 weeks' time, if you are a good farmer, little population of worms medicine increases 66 or 60 to 99 times. So, you can say 10 cages multiplied by 60 or by 99. That's how they grow fast, very fast. Yes, and also, now, however, look when Zega can no Yuana, no Magalula, Gusama season, or Gulama season, Zangati, Ate Guba warm. My big shisha moems, they get excited. But to my big banner, they don't die, but it production, it's a wetland man. No to Tayenzi, however, there are ways, or I was with two seven Zs, to solve that problem. It's like Mount Amatanels, no Mangabe Sama. No mangabe wind. Mau na matanels, you farm all year round because you create your own environment lab. Isama ya kui kanda para to kutanel. Kutanel uyenzi shi se no mu yenzi ban de guguen. So it doesn't really matter what you wenza galad na pan. Na guma wems you can if you want to go advanced in technology you can do that. So abu na ma video of a fully automated farm. Like mang it automated farm when as a worm farmer all you need to do farm worms and then the rest. It's just automated. They reproduce, the feeding is a machine, the harvesting is a machine, the packing and everything. We'll see a very exciting video of that as well. Most of the time you will observe what you have a band activity it's a It doesn't stop, but it's a Yes. Let's understand the log. Yes. Maybe before we go, now we question with okay, you need to imagine eating. I to start my own worm farm or to farm worms or in Deganjal. Let us touch on stocking density. It's stocking density, it's basically what in the way in Gaga, I was a farmer worms among Ganani for your maximum or your optimal reproduction. So, this is what we say in a model, even in our own farms, what we use is. In the way a square meter, one square meter, so I understand one square meter, you can put a minimum, a minimum of 10 kgs. You can take it to a maximum of 20 kgs. Minimum of 10 kgs with square meter, a, min, a maximum of 20 kgs with square meter. So clear up. Because you go to two square meters, you can put a minimum of 20 kgs. So I understand. Then we go to square meter C one, so we have a minimum of ten. We go to no two meters, we have a minimum of twenty kgs, a maximum of forty. We go to three square meters, we have a minimum of thirty, a maximum of sixty. Yes, for your for your for your optimal reproduction. But if you are farming worms. More farmer e compost, it's a different case. You need you need less worms. So if we go to square meter or thing ama worms out ten cages for the breeding of ama eight worms to sell ama eight worms. For e compost, you will need a quarter. 
a quarter of a, of a kg.